Man, so let me tell y'all this. I saw this post on Facebook that was like, man, quiet as kept. People don't want to talk about this, but y'all don't want to give uh, Draymond Green the same smoke y'all gave John Morant. John Morant is all type of menaces and all this and all of that, and he's looked at as he's this bad person. But look at what Draymond Green does. Why he didn't get a big suspension like John Morant did. I don't understand it. Why he ain't looked at in the same light as John Morant. Why he ain't getting crucified the way John Morant was getting. Why we ain't clowning him out the same way we was doing John Morant. Why we ain't questioning him and his morals and all of that. If we gonna question Jaws and all this and all of that. First of all, that person was a Memphis Grizzlies fan. That person was a Memphis Grizzly fan. That's the only way to, ex to explain that. These situations are apples and oranges. When, when comparing these situations, they are apples and oranges. For real, the NBA, when they suspended Ja, they were trying to save him from himself. Okay? He was a week away from being involved in a RICO investigation, the way he was moving. Out here, point, him and his homies point lasers, like, like possibly a laser from a gun at people in the traveling bus. He out here putting hands on young boys and young kids. He all on social media talking like he's a street dude, like he King Von, talking about something. Been on that, been about it. And, and still a, a, will never speak on it, talking about something. Because they asked him, somebody on Twitter asked him, Ja, you're a millionaire. Why you get on Twitter? Why you get on Twitter talking crazy and thugging, right? And his response was, been on that, still on that, never speak about it. Bro, what the fuck? Do you got bodies or something? That's why I, that's why I clowned him. Cause you're trying to come off like you some some ultimate street dude, like you King Von or some shit, or you NBA young boy. For real, man. He was on the road to being Antonio Brown 2.0 slash King Von slash NBA young boy, and he thought this shit was cool. He thought it was fly. He thought it was acceptable to be putting out a street image. And Jaws actions do far more damage to the brand of the league and to himself than Draymond's Green than Draymond Green's actions. For real, Ja was on his way to leading NBA drill culture. We was going to have drill culture in the league. The way he was carrying on, acting like the Grizzlies was his gang and everybody was the ops. And the way he was just carrying himself. It was getting crazy out here. And the NBA do not want to up, uh, uphold young men trying to display street bravado, um, trying to act like they gangsters, trying to act like they the ultimate street dudes, like they got damn um, uh, uh, Odal from Minister Society. That's not what the league wants to market. Honestly, it's not. Now, Draymond fighting and getting into scuffles, fights been going on in the league for a long time, right? And people get into scuffles. Ron Artest got uh, into a, got suspended, and I feel like he got that suspension because he was hurting the brand of the league because you were hurting the consumers, the fans, right? And when you're putting hands on the fans and you're, you know, possibly, potentially uh, killing them with the haymakers and shit he was throwing, it was like, okay, we got to send a message, right? But fights been going on in the league for a long time. A dude trying to act like he a street dude and trying to live in that ilk is something different. Ja was doing shit different than AI was doing. AI was dressing like a street dude and all of that, but Ja was out here really out here trying to show guns and shit on the computer, on the internet and all type of crazy shit. And maybe who's to say if dudes wasn't doing this all the time, but it wasn't no uh, social media to show it. Now we in the age of social media, we seeing what Ja doing on a nightly basis out here trying to be, you know, Ja one of them dudes that like to impress broads. I could tell. With street shit. Do not have dudes out here that like to impress girls with street shit they doing and trying to appear ultra, ultra hood. He one of them dudes, right? Especially with him playing in Memphis. I told y'all he tried to develop that persona like he was trying to, oh, I'm, I'm from, like he, like he was from Memphis too. And I know it's a big uh, gangster disciple um, presence in Memphis, Tennessee. And I don't know if he was trying to act like he one of the folks or what, but the shit is crazy. You know, and the, the, the league had to suspend him to disassociate themselves with that type of brand and to save him from himself. Okay, to make him realize you can lose it all, bro. You can lose all of this shit you keep playing. You can lose the NBA career and then you could also find yourself into some bullshit you don't want to be in. So I think it's apples and oranges, man. Like Draymond Green getting into fights and, and, and all that. Yeah, he stole off his teammate. Michael Jordan stole off his teammate too. It just didn't, we just didn't happen to see it. Okay, Michael Jordan bust off Steve Kerr like it wasn't shit, and everybody praises um, Mike for being ultra competitive and being the ultimate competitor and the ultimate leader for trying to galvanize his troops and get get everybody on the same accord. You know, yeah, he didn't. Draymond got to some scuffles. He didn't say some shit, and he didn't get suspended for kicking dudes in the lower region and all of that. Um, but I think it's just different from a dude trying to be a gangster, trying to walk in an ilk like he is. Godfather of Harlem, like he Bumpy Johnson. 
That's some other type of shit. And Ja, I'm telling y'all, he was well on the way. All he needed to all he needed to do was hang around some more rapping ass dudes. Hang around some more rapping ass dudes and get around some other street dudes, possibly in Memphis. Have him in his corner, have him in his crew. And I'm telling y'all, the shit was gonna hit the fan. By the end of tell y'all the next couple of weeks after that shit, Ja was gonna be involved in a Rico investigation, if not by the end of this upcoming NBA season. So he needed to sit his ass down. Click, uh, collect his thoughts, clear his head, and remember that you're a father first. Draymond ain't out here trying to act like he's NBA young boy King Vaughn, like he out here leading drill culture. He just getting into scraps with dudes, right, and exchanging words with men. But he ain't out here trying to perpetuate an image that he is a goddamn lead, like he is NBA drill culture or he NBA young boy or something like that. So I think that's the difference in that, and I think people have got to recognize that. So that post came from a Grizzlies fan who's just mad that the Grizzlies have an abysmal start to their season. And they wish, oh, they wish Ja Morant was around. But y'all got to blame Ja for that. Y'all got to blame him. He got only himself to blame. Because shit like that, I'm telling y'all, it, it, he could have he could have prevented that. And T. Morant could have prevented that by talking to his son instead of just being a part of his son's entourage and, and cheering it on and egging it on and just being happy to um, experience the fruits of Jaws labor and be around these stars and shit. T. Morant be on the sideline, starstruck, happy to be there in the moment instead of parenting his his child, his son, and telling him right from wrong, telling him what he needs to be doing and what he don't need to be doing. Now, I know it's easier said than done because grown people are going to do what they want to do, but I ain't going to be sitting courtside and all hugging on you and all that when you're doing bullshit. Nah, I'm going to get on your head let me get on your ass and, and parent you, because parenting don't stop when a kid's uh when a kid get gets eighteen. Contrary to popular belief. Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out. Peace.